give us 30 minutes and we'll give you lifelong learning. Find out what it's all about coming up next on Carolina Peace. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're the coastal South Carolina chapter of the American Red Cross on Pampas Drive in Myrtle Beach near the soon to open Market Common on the former Myrtle Beach Air Force Base. We're focused on continuing education and we're visiting with Greg Mitchell, the Vice President for Workforce Development and Continuing Education and Provost of the Ori George Sound Technical College's Grant Myrtle Beach campus. Good That's morning, correct. Greg. Glad to be here. It's a big title there, oh. guy. Well, you can boil that down to one thing, servant. And that's what I'm here to do, serve the community. Wow. That's a great word. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Here to serve the community. It really is that. All three of the campuses and in every way, shape, and form. It's more than just those three campuses. Absolutely. Greg, basically, we will serve about 15,000 local residents through continuing education annually and that number has been growing over the years so we recognize the need that the, the public have for continuing education and to be competitive uh, in this community you have to look at uh, additional education to be competitive right right absolutely well a lot of folks look at continuing education in less than a competitive sense they've they've matured beyond their work working environment but they still want to continue to be educated absolutely and we get calls all the time you know and we have to keep our hand on the community pulse find out what's the trend what's coming what we what we need to be doing what we should be doing that right. we're not doing so we're, we're very active in the community as well Greg you've got your finger on the pulse of the community Greg. absolutely it's not just you and Greg Thompson and so many of the other Greg excuse me Great guys, uh -huh. men and women there uh, at Ori George Sound Technical College. I mean, it is, it really goes in deep. You've got the largest county in the state. That's correct. The fourth largest county in the state. And Ori and Ori George Sound Tech is working diligently in these two very big counties to serve everyone. That's correct, Greg, but you miss another very valuable point. We are the fastest growing community college in the state. Is that and, right? and you compare that with Coastal as the fastest growing four-year institution. So we share a lot of things in common with Coastal as well. That's tremendous. There's other great institutions. Webster. Absolutely. You know about Webster. They're uh, a tremendous a university. Is that right? Oh, yeah. I got my master's from Webster University. I did not know that. Well, that's another great institution. Absolutely. Mostly, that a lot of folks, if they don't know about, need to learn more about. They can go to Webster's website or otherwise learn about them. But uh, Coastal Carolina, you highlighted them. That's mm -hmm. a friendly competition. Oh. Go to the locals college, and they are the uh, college and university of choice, uh, oftentimes for a lot of folks coming in from out of the area as well as in the area. A a absolutely, great Partnership is the key. You cannot do it alone. And at this point, now, we really don't want to do it alone. So you have that synergy when you partner. And so uh, Coastal, Webster, these are great partners, and we're glad to be you know, affiliated with them. If a viewer needs to get off to work now or get family off to school, what's the best? Is there a good website or even a phone number to learn more about continuing education with Ori Georgetown? Absolutely. You can go to our website, hgtc.edu. Okay. Uh, go to the Continuing Education link, or you can call us up at 477-0808. That's the registration center, and we'll be more than happy to work with you. Absolutely. You see a lot of folks crossing the state line, coming in from Brunswick, coming in from Columbus oftentimes as well as coming in from Williamsburg County or Marion County because it's a little further to drive up to Florence Darlington or drive to Brunswick or, uh, or uh, Columbus County Community Colleges. I mean, so they find that Ori Georgetown Tech is a great resource. And not only that, Greg, but you also have to offer the type of programs that they have a desire for. Uh, just because we're close proximity doesn't necessarily mean they're going to come. Right. But we offer a lot of things that the community is looking for. Looking for. So we try to, like again, we keep our hand on the community pulse and right. try to have those courses when they want them. And also we uh, uh, strive to be flexible, accessible, and, and providing the course offering that we do. And if they go to the website and don't see a course that you may have, they can take the time to go in and call that phone number, leave their name. It'll end up getting to you and say, this is a course you need to think about. Of course, you, I guess you deal with everybody and say, we may want to think about that. But at the same time, that's a good phone number, the 477-0808 number, to call if there is a 
course that someone thinks you may want to have. Yeah, Greg, that's a good point. Uh, President Wilson always emphasized to us that, you know, he wants us to make education available, flexible, when the uh, community needs them. Right. So what we have set up uh, in continuing education, we have what is called enrollment coordinator. So you may be looking through our course catalog and say, hey, I don't see what I'm looking at. I don't see a course I really need to take. Just call our uh, enrollment coordinator. We'd be more than happy to catalog those type of needs, and we'll set something up. We're right. flexible. We're responsive to the community needs. Uh, that's our motto. We're here to serve the community, right. and I'm here to serve the community as well. I love it, Greg. Those yeah. are great words because it is a big community. I mean, that's, uh, that's a community you're really uh, stretching thin to try to serve them all, but there's a tremendous crew there at Ori Georgetown Technical College and obviously the entire continuing education and workforce <laughs> development division there. That's a very large division of the mm -hmm. college. I have a great staff. Uh, they've been around. We have plenty of years of uh, working in the community right. and the staff really what makes the difference. Right, right. Real quick about yourself, Greg. Are you originally from the area? No, Greg, I was really born in Deland, Florida, then we moved to Orangeburg, South Carolina, and basically most of my adult life, I was in Orangeburg, and my wife and I and the children, we moved over to Myrtle Beach about eight or nine years ago. Is that right? Right. Orangeburg, is, is your wife a native of Orangeburg? No, she's uh, in a small town outside of Walterboro called Islington. And so she, she generally claims Walterboro yeah. as her hometown, but it's a small town called Islington. <laughs> and your children were raised there? in uh, Orangeburg Absolutely. for the most part. For yeah. the most part, yeah. right. Where are they now? Well, I have a daughter here at Tech right. uh, and I have a son at Coastal. Is that right? That's Good. Right. There's the partnership you were talking uh, about. It's yeah. working. Any it's... rivalry between your uh, son and daughter there? With... No, she's going to be at Coastal next year, yeah. so is I think right? everything is going to blend together. That is great. That is amazing. Absolutely. Oh, a great institution, Greg, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it wasn't hard to convince my daughter. It wasn't hard to convince my son. Uh, these are great institutions, and we, we just enjoy. There are a lot of partnerships. You know, folks think about, uh, I was with my daughter recently at Ripley's Aquarium, mm -hmm. and uh, the young lady there was talking about, of course, not only the marine sciences program at, at Coastal, but mm. the golf course management program, which, of course, would not be without Absolutely. the partnership of the Warrior Georgetown Tech. Absolutely. And working with Dr. DeCenzo, we're looking at expanding those partnerships as well. Right. So we're, we're at the table uh, expanding those type of relationships. Quick, share with viewers exactly what is, if someone says or they meet you and you said, Here, I'm the Vice President of Continuing Education and Workforce Development, you know, obviously, and Provost of the Ori Georgetown Technical College Myrtle Beach Campus mm -hmm. or Grand Strand Campus, sometimes people hear that. What is continuing education? What's your normal response? To that? Just, it's so broad. You know, what great, is continuing education? Uh, that's a great question. Continuing education, we can boil it down to lifelong learning. If that Life. is continuing education. Life. And basically, and continue, continuing education is available to all adults, uh, basically, uh, with God, regardless of educational background. For example, if you want to enhance a skill, so if you want to improve upon a skill, right. or you want to learn a new skill, or just for the pleasure of just learning, right. uh, continuing education has something for everyone. So when you talk about continuing education, we're talking about lifelong learning. Okay, and when you break down that lifelong learning, is it broken down by divisions, for instance, oh, within the college? Right, absolutely. We recognize that the community have different needs as well as individuals have different needs. Mm -hmm. So what we have set up at the college, we have a business and corporate sector that work with companies in developing curriculum, um, going in, inside of companies and uh, doing assessment for their employees. Right. Right. Uh, so we have that uh, corporate angle that we do. And also we have, Greg, as a professional development division. Let's say, for instance, you say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm tired of this this job that I'm doing now. I want to try something different. I want to go into the medical program. So we have a professional development division within uh, continuing ed. And then thirdly, Greg, we have what is called a, a personal interest. You know, I just want to learn how to uh, use, uh, go, get involved in the culinary program. Right, sure. I just want to learn how to do quilting, just for the fun of learning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So horticulture, absolutely, green gardens and other places like that. Right, and just for the fun of learning. So what you have in continuing ed, you have the professional business oriented uh, part of it. Then you have the personal professional development section. Then you have the 
personal interest just for the fun of learning, we call it. I love it. Hey. Lifelong learning. Hey, you got to have it. Is this something you thought about at an early age, Greg? Had you thought, I want to get into this uh, d down the road? I think you shared that you've worked with the, the community college or technical college system here in South Carolina for a good while, I think more than a decade even. Absolutely. Well, I always enjoy working with people, helping people make a difference in people's lives. Mm -hmm. And this is one way I can get to live out my true calling. Right. making a difference in people's lives and by working and continuing education. You know, I love what I do. Right. And making a difference when you see people and you see their lives being transformed, you say, wow. So it. this is a blessing. You know, I, I really enjoy what I do. Was I thought I saw that your major there at uh, USC was in management, not in making a difference yeah. in people's lives. That would be a good <laughs> major there. But Absolutely. When you studied management, had you really thought when you got out of uh, USC that you would go into doing something just like that, making a difference in people's lives. I guess management ties into that. Uh, Absolutely. Management is dealing with people of all ages, all right. race. Right. And so, you know, I, I just really enjoyed that. And so yeah. it's just natural for me. And they say, well, Greg, if you do it, if he wasn't getting paid, I would. Cause, would you? Oh, yeah. come on. Oh, yeah. well, I'm How would Bevel and she'd kick you out? Yeah, I'm kidding. Well, Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's hope not, but yeah, no, I really I'm enjoy kidding. doing what I'm She'd doing, very happy. and we're making a difference in this community. That's why your children are in college, so they can uh, they can take care of you in your <laughs> old age when you're doing this for fun. Yeah, that's right. When you're doing it for fun. I love it. You know, of course, there's so many hot jobs going on right now. Are, are there hot jobs that are really peaking? A lot of interest there here at Ori George Sound Tech's uh, continuing education program? Right. Greg, the Department of Labor put out a forecast for the next five years on what jobs are going to be hot for the uh, future, okay? Right. right. And that the first job that leads that pack is information technology. Over the next five years, we're going to experience a 68% uh, increase in employment in that area. Wow. Allied Health, a 30% increase. Construction, 18% increase. Retail, 14% increase. Wow. And this is over the next five years. Right. And so when people come to us inquiring, hey, what should I be doing? We point to them, hey, this is where the jobs are. Right. These right. are the areas you should be looking in. And this is where, where I said earlier that we keep our hand on the pulse of the community. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have to know what jobs are hard and work with our community and say, hey, guys, you want jobs? This is where you need to be in. Yeah. So. Jobs for the future is hot, and, and that information is provided by the uh, Department, of, Department Labor. of Labor. Yeah. What is information technology? What, is, what are some examples of that that a student could go in? They could start at Ori Georgetown Tech, whether in the continuing education or in the college itself. What are some of the classes they may want to take that would get them ready for a job in information technology? Like, lots of different jobs? Yeah, there's lots of different jobs, uh, computer, software, uh, uh, Microsoft. Right. Um, web page design. Okay, it sure. just goes on and on there. Right. It's, they can contact our, um, go to our website, right, sure. and we have that information available.